I want to talk now about our diploma of sound production for electronic music. So um, there's two semesters of electronic music and I'm really proud of this course because um, I believe that we're the only place in Australia you can go to learn this and actually put out records. Our students actually make an EP and, and put it out in digital distribution and promotion. They, it's in every iTunes store around the world as well as um, Spotify and Amazon and everything else. So um, the way that course is structured is like this. In stage one, you have, um, all year long, you have actually four sessions a week, 12 hours a week total of Ableton, all from different angles. So it starts off with um, remixes and mashups, chopping up existing music and making new um, music out of it. So it's a great way to learn how the recording software works as well as a great way to learn about how music is put together. There's also synthesis, which is how to make anything sound like anything, how to make a bass out of a sine wave. You can make a bass sound like a guitar, you can make a baby crying sound like a dragon roaring, which is what they do in the movies, which is why it's so scary. Um, trick bag is um, is uh, a class where you learn a lot of techniques for composing because most electronic musicians are not actually musicians. They don't really know a lot of music theory at first early on. They learn it eventually, a lot of them. Um, but you, they sound like they do because there's tricks for that and we teach you how. There's literally buttons to push that will give you a scale. Um, so um, you'll have a lot of techniques for composing so that you can do a lot. If you do play an instrument or know music theory, that's cool too. You're just going to have a little bit of a different flavor than the people that don't play an instrument, that's all. So um, there is also a class, um, writing music um, with electronic media, which you have to come up with four, um, four songs in the first semester, not with vocals necessarily yet. Eric Chappis teaches that one. Again, he's got a lot of rewards to our RA nominations and so forth. Um, but there's a lot of techniques he puts you through. For example, you, one of the exercises that gets you fast at it is you make a beat, give it to somebody else, somebody else gives you a beat, you add a bass, somebody gives you a beat with a bass, you add a rhythm, somebody gives you a beat with a bass and a rhythm, you add a top line to it. So um, you're getting used to learning how different people work and you've seen how, I, how their ideas are, are formed and you you know, learn how to work with others on that type of thing as well, as well as get really good and fast at the software. So um, there's uh, also a class in the first semester, clearing samples. So that's manage and exploit copyright. So you can, if you're sampling music, you can do it legally the right way, as well as getting airplay money and, and protecting your songs. And then there's one class a week in the first semester, just an hour and a half of lyric writing. And you'll learn a lot of techniques, once again, for lyric writing so that um, uh, if you are not inspired, you could actually write a good lyric, and if you are inspired, you could write something that really has legs and is, is known by a lot of people for a long time. And that's important for being able to get songwriting royalties when you're working producing somebody. And it's also important to, um, to not have to be at the mercy of a recording artist that you're working with who is not always going to be 100% fantastic on their lyrics, and you can help. So again, it ensures that your records you make are always going to be as good as they can be, and you can get songwriting credits and make more money out of it that way, as well as fulfill yourself. I mean, it's amazing. It's, it's really fun. So even people that don't actually plan on being a lyricist, um, we recommend that you, um, you learn that and get good at it. So second half of the course, um, there's again four more course sessions with um, Ableton. Um, first of all, there's producing, how to become a real producer. We study the techniques of how the top producers are coming out with these consistently top-selling albums, and it's all about connecting collaborations and vetting the songs and coming up with material and, and techniques um, to make it punchy and fantastic and amazing. And you could practice all those techniques that the big, big boys do. Um, so, um, and also you learn how to finally actually get a microphone into the computer, so recording vocals. Now you're getting rappers on there, hooks, singers, top lines, sing, you know, vocals, whatever, however you want to do it. It could be instruments, could be other um, sounds you want in your recording, but you don't use the big mixing console, just a little interface to get the microphone into the computer and, um, and get that going so you have your full-on recording. Then there's um, mixing and mastering. You've been mixing since the very beginning back in that remix class, but now you're getting your final sound balance for your final mix. And then there's mastering, um, which is uh, a weird kind of a magical art to making it sound kind of the same on every system. So no matter whether it's on your phone or in the car or in your buddy's crappy stereo, it always sounds really good, like the store-bought major label album. So um, whereas before, you, before the mastering, it sounded different on every system. So it's making it sound great everywhere, generally. Um, 
then there is taking it to the stage. So now you're learning Ableton push controllers, um, CDJs, Serato, how to set up your live mix for the for the mixing board. And of course, Ableton is meant as a live instrument. It's the only recording software that actually can be played as an instrument, really, which is really cool. And that's why it's called Ableton Live. And um, so how to send a mix to the board of that and, and all of that. A um, little bit of projections, a little bit of stagecraft, and you have a gig at the end. So now you're gigging, you're a qualified, literally trained DJ, and, and you can make money DJing. So there's another revenue stream for you. So then there's another class, which is your digital distribution and promotion. That's your business topics. Now that includes your branding. So what are you going to call yourself? You come up with a really cool logo. Um, and um, again, your album art and everything. And um, you put it out, digital distribution, and all the iTunes stores and, and Amazon and, CD and um, uh, Spotify and all of that, as well as um, uh, you know, promoting it with Facebook advertising and other things like that to get traction in the marketplace and your strategy and everything like that for release. And, and um, every time you do a release, basically your DJ fees go up. So there's, um, you know, you kind of, they kind of feed each other that way to build yourself, build your name for yourself. So um, the other class um, that actually is also in Ableton is the composing for film. Same class as the, the audio engineering um, diploma. So basically it's you're with Eric and um, Again, you have to do five pieces. Um, you do music for film trailers, TV commercials, short films, and things like that. So, um, um, yeah, so, the, so that way you're composing that way too. So that's more the soundscape-y, soundtrack-y type of stuff, as well as digital foley and things like that for um, incidental sounds and atmospheric stuff. So, yeah, basically that's it. Again, the, the diploma in sound production for electronic music, um, you do get a record release and you get out there and you're playing live and and it's it's again the most unique thing in Australia that nobody else is doing that and uh, I uh, encourage you to check it out